Hello everyone, peace be with you and thank you so much for joining me here at the Galaxy with God of Notes. I'm going to get into the cards but keep in mind the collective. This is a general reading which may or may not resonate with everyone. Please use your discernment, take what does and leave the rest behind. But if this reading does resonate with you or you just happen to like this reading, please let me know down below by giving me a comment, like or share the video. Oh, let's pray. What's the message you have today for the collective energies, please? What's the message you have today for the collective energies, please? Hmm. Give me a few cards for the collective energies. So someone could be having old school, outdated mem thinking or even memories, replaying events over and over in their head. But they're um, having a lot of maybe soothers because I see the snake, other women over their shoulder that they're not able to move around because they're being spotted and monitored by these snakes that are around it, their energy. Anyways... This person is having faith that their loved one is coming back into their life because they were struck somehow by the love that someone has shown them. They're looking at you as being very abundant, not just financially, but in your mindset and your, your blessing. They're looking at you as being a blessing that came to their life. Holy Spirit, anything else? So this person could be playing... Um, old music could be an older person could be playing old music um thinking about you reminiscing about you but um i have the sunglasses but it comes in the reverse so you're looking you we're looking at a person with um you were looking at a person in rose colored glasses you weren't seeing the person you were looking at the person with rose colored glasses, sorry. You weren't seeing the person for who they are, but now it is coming in the reverse and you actually see who you're dealing with. You have seen the value, the worth, and the integrity of the person that you were dealing with. Because you have turned the glasses upside down and you're able to see better that this person was not who you think they were. They create a heartbreak for you. They separated themselves from you and that created a shock for you. So you have now seen them in the light in which you were supposed to be seen from the beginning. But you were too captivated by the glass. The color of the glasses may be very pretty. So you were looking at them as being a very good person. When in fact, they possibly was wearing a mask. Oh, the spirit. Anything else we need to see? The person um, creating heartbreak for you. Separation and loss. Like you're feeling defeated like you were like nobody in other words Holy Spirit, anything else anything else Holy Spirit anything else Holy Spirit yeah yes as I said this person was wearing a mask but the mask is now flipped because this mask came in the reverse so you're seeing the person for exactly who they are it's a karmic relationship that comes or came to your life to teach you how to strengthen your emotion yeah so this relation this relationship create a trigger for you so you can see life in a different way it create turmoil and you're letting go of this energy or feeling that this person gave yeah Holy Spirit, yeah this was a close bond unconditional love this person was a very, you were very selfless towards this person. And this person was very maybe selfish towards you. You gave your all to the relationship or the person, but they were wearing a mask and they were disguising themselves to be who they weren't. And after a while, you figured out who, who they are, how they treat people, 
based on how they treated you, being so light-hearted towards them. Holy Spirit, anything else? They know you are light-hearted, as I said towards them. And, and I have, um, they see you happy, being very joyful without them. They're looking at you. Maybe enjoy, they're, they're maybe in, imagining, imagining you and them living in paradise together but after they create this unhappiness for you what's going to be the outcome on the spirit what's going to be the outcome yeah the outcome is they still have you have to create boundaries with this person they'll be able to charm you or use you and i have the charm and i have it right here they need to create a boundary with them because they are able to charm you or even use you so, Holy Spirit, anything else? Thank you for that message. Anything else we need to know? You're healing your heart. You're healing your broken heart. And possibly going out on date with others. Trying to see others in a brighter light and moving on. Meeting someone new, setting a date, dating online or something. But you're moving on from this hurt and pain and stress that was caused by whom? This person is mirroring you. You're the mirroring. You're mirroring each other. So it could be a very close bond, even a soulmate, a, a twin flame, or something. But this person is mirroring you. Wow. So whatever you're thinking, possibly you're thinking the same thing. Oh, the spirit. Anything else? Yeah. They have addictions though. They have codependency. They have emotional block. They don't know how to love properly. They possess, they are very possessive and they are controlling and things they don't, they think they can't control, they'll run away from. So this is maybe what they did to you. They possibly run away from you because they have codependency issue. Yeah. I have the butterfly here. So this is telling me you're moving on. Yes, this person was a chase, was a, um, they want you to chase them. But after they hammered down the relationship down to the bone, they want to now work on it. They want to repair it. They know you're ascending now. They know you're moving forward and you're picking up your life all back together. You're taking a chance. You're taking the risk and you're not showing what you're doing. You're just moving on, going forward. Holy Spirit, um, they want to talk to you. They want to talk to you. They want to spend time with you. They want to text you. They want to do everything. But what's holding them back, Holy Spirit? What's holding them back? They're possibly going through a transformation. So this is creating a hold back for them because they are still in a state of shock as a result of all these new things that they are learning as to their own self, their own attitude, and how they treat people. So this could be a shock to them that they were all at this all this time okay so now this person could be a narcissist and they want to come in and love bomb you they're very self and, and self-absorbed and they only love themselves well possibly they don't even love themselves so they don't even know to love each other but they think they have unconditional love for you that's what they think but you're moving on, you're evolving, you're growing to a new phase in your life and you're healing your inner child, you're releasing the past and you're putting a death to all this heartache and pain that you've been through and you're healing, as I said before, you're healing your heart. You're no longer heartbroken, you're putting a death to this, you're creating something new, there was a tragic ending of this relationship. And you're moving on like the phoenix that's rising out of the ashes. Yeah. Possibly you're moving on. You could be getting engaged. You could be going on coffee date. Committing to your to your higher self. Committing to God. You could be, you know, pouring more into yourself than when than before. As you were spending time pouring into other people, but now you're pouring more love into yourself and which is healthy. Self love. Finding time for yourself. You were heartbroken. 
but now you're healing your broken heart as i said before and this make you really sad you know the breakup between you and this twin flame this person was very deep your heart was shattered you never know this person was like this but everything comes to an end and you learn from the old process um someone is reminiscing it could be you or them they want to they want to make new memories but sorry someone wants to express themselves they want to send a love card but you have seen everything you have seen the truth and clarity in the entire situation and you are detaching yourself from the, the outcome and you're letting god serve serve the whatever is to be served yes this person was feeling like they weren't enough they feel like they are they were frustrated they said sabotage this relationship they were too self-indulgent and they know now see that they really see or feel like the relationship is dead they think it's over they think there's no second chances of this to rekindle because what is dead is dead so this person was very sedu seductive but they want to talk regardless of everything they want to talk and they know you're they know you're their soulmate they know you're their soulmate so they want to come up because they see you abundant in your mindset and you're rising out of the ashes they know you're able they were hoping that you would jump over hoop just to reach them jump from mountain to mountain to chase after them but they know now know you know your self-worth you're not codependent on them and this is what is creating the trigger because their intention was not to lose you but to frustrate everything that you have out of you yes because they know they are the charmer but now you're free to the death of this relationship you're not going any further you know exactly what this is and you're making healthier choices you're creating more self-love being happier love yourself more seeing the bigger picture of everything knowing this was a lesson that you were supposed to learn chances are you never even know how to love yourself properly so god send your exact opposite into your life just to create that void so you can go within to build you so this was the lesson to be learned self-love so now you're saying to yourself after you know yourself and love yourself you're saying not today no hell no not today you're creating a boundary you're avoiding conversation you're still not upset though you're creating a separation between you both not that you're angry but you're just over it you're just over it not even want to talk yeah person is coming up you know they are now seeing the bigger picture of things as to who you are and who you were to them because they know you're the image of them the opposite of them one is north one is south one is east one is west in their action so they are now seeing you looking at you reminiscing knowing that you are their twin flame yeah, yeah. knowing that you're their twin flame they have many options yes yeah. so you are possibly just one of them but you know your worth and you move on from all this yeah they were the party type person but you were the one who went through their heart like a cupid's heart no one has ever possibly let them feel the way you let them feel because they know no one compares to you it should only be you <laughs> yep so i'm gonna get an angel message here um okay let me get a love article um Holy Spirit, what's the message here for the collectors? What message do you have for the collectors? What message for the collectors? Holy Spirit. One card, please. You're all tipping over. Thank you. Okay. Codependency. Alright. This says codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. But the divine is saying it's worth waiting for. It's worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Hmm. Holy Spirit, let clarify this please. One more card. One more card please. What is worth waiting for? 
what is worth waiting for? Well, we knew before yeah, it was codependency that created this. Yeah, Spirit is saying you need to have a heart to heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So, this relationship, as messy as it seems here, uh, Spirit wants for you to let go of codependency. But this relationship is worth waiting for. But you need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation for this. So, collectives, I thank you so much for joining me here at the Galaxy with God of Notes. Peace, I leave with you. Goodbye.